Hello everybody, my name is Chrisius, and welcome to another Lightworks tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you another basic thing, which would be how to add a face cam to your gameplay footage or really any kind of picture in picture that you're looking to do. Um, first thing, before you do anything else, you need to make sure your audio is in sync. I have this old one over here where you can tell for some reason the audio I had was not in sync. You'll see it might get loud. I'm not sure. So if you're listening to headphones, you might want to turn it down. Um, you'll see me talking, but my lips will not be matching what I'm saying. And as soon as I beat this, I'm escaping to town. So as you can tell, the audio and the video are not in sync. It's the same for this one as well. I don't know why it happens. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I do know how to fix it, though. Um, and that's what I did here. And all I did was I ran these videos through a video converter. I've tried other converters before. If you notice, there's not many videos on my channel that have a face cam. Um, the mobile ones don't count because my phone actually does the face cam for me. But uh, non-mobile ones, the face cam is really hard to do because it's hard to get the audios to sync. It's also hard to get um, the audios of the two different videos to sync together as well. But this one actually did very good. I just set them up for the exact same thing. And this is actually not what I had it on, but I changed it because I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to chunk them in here. Like I said, I've used converters before. They haven't worked. This one, it's ABC, all vid or any video converter. Uh, it actually works really well so far. It worked on these two videos. I'm sure when I do more, it will continue to work because it was pretty easy. But if you notice, a little bit has been cut off because of the format I had it for. So I changed the format so that hopefully won't happen next time. But the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slap one of these videos on here. Which there's a video one and two right now. Normally there isn't. Normally there's a video one and then these audios. And how you add another video is you right click, you hit, um, I think you just hit make. No, no. You hit track and you hit add video track. I'm not going to because that would make a third one. I don't need a third one because I've already made the second one. You're going to want to set uh, video one and two. Shut these off just for a second while you put your next video in here. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, which is very important, after you make sure, after it's converted or the audios are synced up, is you're going to want to make sure the videos start at the same time. We don't have to worry about when they end right now. We have to make sure they start at the very same time. I start, if you notice, the green one, my face cam is longer because I started the camera before I started the gameplay. So if you don't want to do that one first, you can just turn these nodes off. And then whatever you do to this one will not be done to the other. So, and I'm not going to do, I actually have already made this video and uploaded it. So I'm not going to make this precise. I already showed y'all how to clip and everything in the previous montage, or in the montage one I made. So I'm just going to clip it. They're not the same length, but they don't need to be. But after you get them to starting at the exact same time, turn whatever you have off on. And they all have to be on before you do this next step. The next step is really easy. You hit VFX right up here. And then you hit the plus button. And it's already on here for me. But over on category, there's going to be several categories here for you. Because uh, before we've used text on adding text to your video, now you go to DE, DVE. And for the DVE, if you notice, it'll show you where the first video is going to come to. And you need to make sure that your face cam video is on video one. If it's not, if it's on video two and the game's on video one, then the game's going to be up in the corner or wherever you're going to put it, and your face cam's going to take up the majority of the screen. And that's not usually how these go. So it does have some standard ones, I believe, at the very top, or normally it does. But if it doesn't, you can just scroll down. Top left is general what you're going to do. And you can even move it if you don't like that. Now, 
since it did get cut uh, the top and the bottom a little bit from when I converted it, if you don't want those lines there, you're not going to have them unless you make the same mistake I did. Uh, you just position that. If you want to get rid of, like, I don't want this piece of window right here. It's just ugly. I don't like it. It's kind of distracting. You go to crop. Bam. And then just pull that in. And if you don't like it being off center, you can pull that in and then just move this back here. And just for the full effect, I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom to make sure there's no black there. Another thing you can do, uh, I've experimented with it. I haven't put any videos up, I don't believe. With this on here is you can mess with the edge softness. And you can actually make the edges of your video opaque. That way, if there's a specific scene or if you just want to try to have a somewhat green screen effect without a green screen, it's not a very good one, but you can see the game behind it if you need to do that for any reason. Um, you can also change the opacity of your video in and of itself, which would be fun just to like do throughout the video uh, at certain points. But like I said, I'm not going to do any of this. Uh, and it doesn't matter that I delete anything or don't try to uh, much for this because I already have put this up on YouTube. And I did something really cool that I just learned about. So if you hit right click and you hit make and you make a sync, it takes everything you've done, all the edits, everything that's down in this section, and it makes it one, uh, one sync thing. So you see I've already done this once. This will be sync three. So if I delete everything, bam. And get rid of that and then I take what was that sync three and I put it down here it'll all be in one big uh, synchronized video with audio and everything I'm just going to delete all of this and the very first sync is the one of the completed uh, piece that I made so this has everything. I clipped a little bit out of the beginning because I rambled a little bit too much. And it even has all the way to the credits at the very end over here. Um, well, actually, it's at the very, very end over here. It'll have my credits pop up along with the music, which is really cool. I just learned about this. And speaking of music, someone yesterday did, or not yesterday, uh, there was a comment on my last tutorial video of how to add music to your video. I know I talked about it a little bit, but the video was a little long. So if you need it again, uh, the best way to add the music to your video, or the only way to my knowledge, um, you get your music for where, from wherever you're going to get it. I got this from the YouTube audio library. Um, and whenever you're ready to put it in, just click it, drag it to whatever uh audio piece you want it on you can add it after you make the sync before you make the sync the sync's not necessary even if you want to export the video this way you don't have to sync it up i just did that sync one because i thought it was cool and two so that i didn't have to make any like too many extra tabs to make this video um but you can just take your audio you can put it wherever you want if you zoom in which is going to stop floating you can cut it and splice it however you want. So if you say want to have music and then want to have something else, you can splice that in there. Um, it's really fun just to learn how to uh, just to mess around with it on your own to figure out everything you can do. But that's how you do add the music to it. Now where you get your music from, that depends. Usually I use Technoax or the YouTube video library. Uh, both are really good resources, and for Techno Acts, for sure, everything in there you get, you're going to have to add it to your description, uh, where you got it, the name of the music, and like maybe the name of the creator. It'll give you a little cut and paste that you can put in the description. YouTube does the same thing. Some do need an acknowledgement this description, some do not. Um, for this, it uh, this one did. So I just cut and paste what it wanted me to and put it in my description. I don't think I have to do it 
for this video, but I will just to be safe. Other than that, uh, that's really everything. Another thing I kind of wanted to show y'all, just in case someone needs to know, and I'll go more into detail if you need me to later. Sometimes you need to blur something out. Uh, something pops up on the screen that shouldn't, or something happens in the game that you don't want showing on the screen, or really any other myriad of things, and you want to, say, blur it out, you go to Stylize, and then you can use whatever you want here. I like Mosaic myself. So it adds a little mosaic uh, blur here so I can blur whatever I want and it, you can tell it is kind of large but all you have to do is well that changes that but how do I change do 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 oh there we go change the width down change the height down so if i just wanted to cover that cover this cover this ugly little basilisk which really to me now that i'm looking at it, it looks more like a uh chameleon yeah it's like a chameleon than a basilisk that's how you blur whatever you want and then you will have to go in uh for sets of frames and if the whatever you're wanting to blur moves you are going to have to make a new cut and put a new uh piece of blurness there. There's a quicker way to do that. If y'all want me to go more into detail later, like a more efficient way, I will. This is just something cool I thought I'd add into the video because I actually had to use it. I never actually uploaded the video, but I was doing a Pokemon Go Let's Play back when Pokemon Go first came up, and people kept calling my phone, so I had to learn how to blur it up to blur their numbers, but I never did actually upload that video for some reason um but this has dragged on a little bit long i have tried to make it shorter than my last video so i hope y'all enjoyed if there's anything about video editing y'all wanted me to cover and maybe in another video uh let me know in the comments down below if you like this one let me know leave a like uh leave a comment anything helps and until next time see ya